This is a walkthrough of problem two on exam one of module two from the book Problem Solving Guide for Mechanics and Thermodynamics. Problem two, a bolt is shot with a foot bow at an initial speed of 60 meters per second and an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal. Assume that the bolt was shot at ground level. What is the maximum height reached by the bolt? How far will the bolt land from the shooter? What is the speed of the bolt four seconds after it was shot? Let's start with a good diagram. First, let's draw the path. There's the initial speed, 60 meters per second at 30 degrees. Part A asks for the maximum height. Part B asks for the distance from the shooter. Part C asks for the speed of the bolt four seconds after it was shot. So let's just put a vector in over here four seconds later. Now we gotta think this 60 meters per second is neither in the x or y direction. It doesn't belong in any equation. It doesn't belong in the equation for the horizontal or the vertical. We have to take that 60 and divide it, get the components. Get the x component and get the y component. We use trigonometry. V initial in the x direction is 52 meters per second. V initial in the y direction is 30 meters per second. So now, we can start doing the physics because we know what happens to those two speed components. The y changes by 10 meters per second each second in the downward direction. The x does not change. Let's do some physics. Initial speed in the y direction, 30 meters per second. Gravity takes off 10 meters per second each second. If it starts at 30, it's going to take 3 seconds for the bolt to reach the maximum height started off at 30. At the maximum height, the y component of the speed is 0. 30 to 0, the average is 15 meters per second. If it averages 15 meters per second for 3 seconds, that's 45 meters. So the maximum height, the answer to part A, is 45 meters. You want to use an equation? Go ahead. Part B. The bolt's going to be in the air for six seconds, three seconds up, three seconds back down. It's traveling 52 meters each second horizontally. If it goes 52 meters each second horizontally and it's in the air for six seconds, it's going to travel 312 meters in the horizontal direction. That's the answer to part B. What is the speed of the bolt four seconds after it was shot? It starts off at 30 upward. It's going to be going 10 meters per second downward after 4 seconds. We have to subtract 10 meters per second each second. If we do that for 4 seconds, it's going to be down to minus 10. So the vertical component of this speed vector, this velocity vector, is 10 meters per second down. The horizontal component of the speed is 52 meters per second. It doesn't change. So now we can get the speed of the bolt because we have the x component and the y component. We use the Pythagorean theorem. y is minus 10 meters per second. x is plus 52 meters per second. And we get 52.9 meters per second. That's the length of that velocity vector at 4 seconds. That's problem 2.